Eight months ago, I made this video. Do you remember it? Some agree, other people not. But the sim racing community isn't that bad as you saw in that video. Well, today I show you the opposite. I show you the five elements which make the sim racing community great. Usually some of you will relate to these five elements, others won't agree. But certainly the new people who want to enter this community for the very first time will see this is an amazing world. So let's stop wasting the time with the intro and let's find out this top five. Ready? It doesn't matter if you are old, young, tall, short, the religion, the economical status, if you are communist or you like capitalism, if you are gay, straight, if you are male, female, white, black, yellow, green or blue, it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or a pro, sim racing is for everyone. Even if you have an handicap, don't worry, there is always a solution to allow you to get into this big great community. And you know what? This community has its own sub-communities, to please everyone's preferences. More realistic or more arcadish. Drifting, off-roading, track racing, street racing, tuning, stock or even repairing cars. Yeah, of course, you need the money to buy the hardware and the software, but I think if you watch this video you have the money to buy a little PC or an old console and you can start joining this beautiful community even with a controller. You know, I started playing on controller too. So you don't have excuses if you like cars. Yeah, if you like cars this is a perfect place for you. One positive side of sim racing is to allow you to experience, at least uh, partially, how real racing feels while driving. Yeah, it will remain always a surrogate of real racing because, as you know, real racing costs a lot of money. But uh, this doesn't stop the sim racing community to do incredible things together, because uh, we all share the same passion after all. Look for example at my past events, which have been amazing not only for the spectators of my channel, but for the participants as well. For example, people get excited before the race, before the green light, because somehow sim racing allows you to feel the same sensations of a real race if you take it seriously. I got a lot of comments through the years telling me, oh, why are you are wasting your time in sim racing? Get it real! or you're just an idiot to take sim racing so seriously. But guys, we all know these people never experienced what sim racing makes you feel and how the community, bad or good, it doesn't matter, gives you visceral sensation like you were racing for real. So think about it. And don't forget this. When your group shares the same passion, it's easy to get new friends. simulation improved not only on the graphical aspect, but also on the physics. Every year we see more realistic games. What does it mean? It means we are getting close to the reality. By consequence this means also you can use these simulations to get better at the reality. 
so you can use a racing game to prepare yourself for a real race, in some cases exactly with the same car on the same track with the same weather conditions. It isn't a secret, real Formula 1 drivers use racing games to train for races, but also to find better car setups or improve their car. Or even sim racers who manage to reach their dream and become real racers, let's see for example Igor Fraga. So sim racing isn't just fun, it's also useful. This is one of the favorite parts of sim racers. It doesn't matter if you lose or you win. If a racing bot is fair and allows two both drivers to have a great moment together, in most of cases they meet again for another race. Because they build a mutual respect. It's a way to say, hey, I respect you because you respected me, and we got fun and fair battle together. Basically, thanks to racing battles, you can build rival friendly relationships with other drivers in the sim racing community. Confrontation is human nature, and this is a place where you can compare your skills with the rest of the world. But also, don't forget the sense of accomplishment when you win a long and stressful battle against a driver of your same skills. Not a big success in real life, but surely you'd feel proud of yourself. Sim racing community is more helpful than you think. Just go in a racing game forum and blogs on the internet to find countless infos about getting better driving. But community will help you also to decide which steering wheel you have to buy and which racing game you should play. This is also my mission with my sim racing lessons on my videos, but also my private classes. You can't imagine how happy I am when my students improve and thank me for my help. It makes you feel proud of yourself and for your student, which is faster thanks to your advisors. So, Sim Racing Community is a perfect place to help and get helped, because uh, we all go in the same direction, to the same goal. Improve yourself! I hope you liked this video and it allowed you to understand how sim racing is so beautiful and deeper than you think. See you in my next video, I'll make a video review about Forza Horizon 5 and uh, thanks for watching!